welcome to Countdown to the Finish Line. I am Bishop Ricky Jackson. I'm the presiding bishop and the pastor of the Emmanuel Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I would like to thank each and every one of you and welcome you to Countdown to the Finish Line. We are going to explore through the word of God. When did this countdown begin? What caused this countdown? When will it end? And most importantly, we are going to talk about where are we now in this countdown? Stay tuned as all of these questions are answered and reveal through the enriched word of God. Again, Bishop Jackson welcomes you to Countdown to the Finish Line. And there's two things we have to be ready for, he, he, for when Amen. he comes or not. It's no in-between. It's no in-between. And there was a time, and I'm yes. this to the listening audience. Amen. There was a time I was afraid. I'm going to tell you the truth. There was a time I, I feared the Lord coming back because I felt like I was yes. nowhere close, nowhere close to being ready. The Bible says the righteous shall scarcely make it. Being ready. And I, and I, and scarcely I, and I, be saved. That's right. Oh, scarcely be saved. And, and I, I was scared. And it wasn't until recently that I began to be comforted in my place in Christ. That's like, okay, now these are the things you have to let go. These are the things you have to set in order. These are the spots and wrinkles that you have to iron out and bleach out through the blood of Christ so that you won't the blood of Jesus. You no longer feel, but embrace my coming. And the reason I want right. to bring this out is because the whole world system is the same way. Going back to the Treaty of Versailles, that's why it's so important that everyone realizes they wanted to limit the number of Jews coming back because they were afraid too. Now, why would they hmm. be afraid? Because they know it's real. They know hmm. he's coming. And even the hmm. world powers at that stage recognize that, oh yeah, Jesus did come. And oh yeah, he did. He is coming back. And even they realized they weren't ready. And so they are trying to prevent or delay his coming by delaying the fulfillment of the prophecy. That's when it gets yes. deep. When, wow. you, when you think about what they're trying to do, in their minds, they're saying, well, if the nation of Israel can never come back together, then what happens is, then the prophecy can't be fulfilled. Because one mm. thing, Jesus, when he died on the cross, he fulfilled every prophecy, even down to the details that the spikes would go through his hand and not break a bone because it was prophesied that narrow bone would be broken in his body. Jesus never not missed a bone. A That's right. And so what they have done is tried to put these things as if there's a way to delay God's coming. And it is this knowledge that we need to be armed with. Because when we think about Bishop, and this is why I really get excited about what you are doing and teaching right now. If you think about what we've been doing for so long, we've not been preparing as a church global. Now, I'm not talking about our home church, but as a church global, we preach and yeah. teach about global, a lot of right. things. But globally, the preparation has not been at the level it is to be in a state of readiness. You know what I'm right. saying? Like if you, right. like when you, right. when you say it's going to snow down south, what happens? All the grocery stores go in. <laughs> All the bread get bought out. Why? Because people are preparing mm -hmm. for the worst. They're, they're preparing, even though it, I don't think it's ever, anybody's ever needed all that stuff they bought, but it's never failed. If you say it's going to snow, the grocery store shelves are going to be emptied out just in case. Why? Because people are preparing. Right. And so now what I see yes. you doing is emptying out the grocery store, preparing for what is to come. Yes. That we might be ready. And that's why yes. this message is so important in, in my vernacular. Amen. You know, you brought up. You brought up. 
Amen. You brought a very, very uh, interesting point, uh, Mike. Uh, I, I like that term when you said a state of readiness. And, and that's what this podcast is designed for, is to put us in a state of readiness. Uh, it's, kind, it's kind of similar to the... Uh, to the uh, to to well, to to our military structure, uh, when we are uh, when we're at peace, you know, we we at we at you know DEFCON five. But when they when they see, I'm uh, I tell you this this is all right here. When they see trouble arising, it ain't, it ain't bad bad trouble, but it's, it's on the horizon. And the president went, okay, then we we need to go to. We need to go to DEFCON 4. So that, that's another state of readiness that makes them prepared for what they see might be getting ready to happen. And as that begin to get more and more absolute, then they drop the DEFCON 3. They drop the DEFCON 2. And all of those stages puts you in a more state of readiness for what you're getting ready for. And that's what this, this podcast is about. It's putting us in a state of readiness more so than when we were 50 years ago, because 50 years ago, the things that existed now uh -huh. did not exist. So that, I, I like that term state of readiness. I want to throw that in. And Bishop, when you were saying that, I was like, and the, and the Bible has left us the clues to know how to move from DEFCON 5, I said, oh, Bishop, you don't hear it, because I love that same ter terminology. That's where all the prophetic scriptures yes. is coming through. That's why we're talking about what's happening coming, right. with the nation of Israel. That's why we're talking about what's happening with the Treaty of Messiah. Right. Why? Because that's prophesied. That's why we're right. talking about the ten-told kingdom. Why? Because that's what was prophesied. That's why we're talking about the virgin of yes. God that stepped on the moon. Why? Because it's in the Bible. That's what was prophesied. It's in the Bible. When you see these signs, mm. then we know that we... When you see it. Moved. Yes, sir. Step, and right now... Yes, sir. Coming, and we... And we... And our... Because we think on our level as humans, we think because it don't happen in a week or a month, it's not going to happen. But the Bible says, hmm. so as it was... And I like this because I just caught this one. So as it was in the days of Noah... And Sodom and Gomorrah. Now we often talk about yes. so as it was in the day of Noah, but the Bible says so Noah, as right. it was in the day of Noah and in Sodom and Gomorrah. They were Sodom and Gomorrah, yes, yes. Just like they were until the time came. Then all of a sudden it was like, what happened? But being in a state of readiness, we will be like Lot was and his daughters, or we'll be like yes. Uh, We'll, we'll be like Noah was and his and his family, his immediate family. We will be ready when he comes in a state of ready. It means yes. we have to deny some things. It means we have to push away some things. It means while we're pre yes. pre preparing that some of the luxuries that this world has designed to distract us with and some of the distractions that's designed from keeping us from being ready, we have to push aside because that's what the yes. word of God is here for to have us prepared so that we won't be caught short, so that we won't be caught We back. won't be caught unaware. Amen, amen. Now, uh, Elder, since you, since you, uh, you, you, uh, you just mentioned something that is number two on my, on my chart. That's why I, that's why I brought the uh, screen share back up for those of you that is watching the podcast. He just uh, led us into uh, the second scripture that I have listed. I mean, it's the exact, exact scripture he just got to talk about. It. That's where I was going to go after Genesis. So, wait, 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 um, wait a minute, Bishop. Yes, I sir. Tell you one thing. I got to tell you what's on my screen. Yeah. That we not yes. listening audience. You have to know. I got. I got to tell you this. I, I, you have to put it in from and try to show it to you. Now, I did not yeah. see Bishop's presentation before right now. Did I, Bishop? No. No, 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 huh? not at all. So you picking yes. it up at Matthew 24, 32 and 33. Right now, my page is Matthew 24, 29 through 31. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, Elder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see it. Yes, I see it. So I got That's Matthew all right. 24, 29 through 31 on my screen, ready to go. And you ready to pick it right up. Matthew 24, 32 and 
32, 33, unrehearsed. This is how the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, this is, is how the Spirit of God works. Back to our remembrance. Unrehearsed. Yes. Unpracticed. Bishop had no way of knowing what my screen is on. Did not know. His very next right. point is right where I'm leaving off. Lord. Right where and that that's that that's the that's 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 the Lord and that's and that's why uh we, we deliberately did not discuss any of this. We just only thing we did was set the date and time when we was gonna meet up here at the church. But Matthew Bishop, 20, that's all right. Uh, man. But Bishop, look what happened. You had Genesis one and fourteen, I had Genesis one and fourteen. That's right. Now I got Matthew yes. twenty four uh, twenty nine through thirty one, and now you picking it right up where I'm left off. 34, 24, 32 through 33. I had to say, Amen. That's right. That's a mighty God. We said unrehearsed. That's, un a, mighty that's a mighty God. That's right. That's a mighty God. That's right. right. That's that's right. right. One spirit. That's, that's a one. <laughs> one spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, want, I want to read that. I want to read that for our listening audience. It says in, in that 24th chapter of Matthew, it says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree he mm -hmm. said when his branch is tender and putteth forth leaves mm -hmm. here's the part that i want to emphasize on it says ye know that summer is not th th this is not guesswork when he said when you see when you see the fig tree and the branch is tender it's not guesswork you just know that summer is near verse mm. 33 says so likewise ye when ye shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors that's what countdown to the finish line is it is mm. showing you the fig tree in the mm. spiritual realm we the, the fig tree is blossoming now so we know that the rapture is on the horizon and there, there's no ambiguity there there's no guess in there and that's what matthew is writing the absoluteness of the time that we live in that you know the fig tree when it when you see the leaves get tender you oh next it's gonna be summer well when you see these things 1948 the things that elder mike has uh just got to talk about the formation of the 10 kingdom when we're about to get into that and then you, yep okay nope uh the rapture's got to be close. Just as sure as you know, Samuel follows the leaves on the fig tree. Know the surety that the rapture follows what we're talking about right now. All right, Mike? And Bishop, I'm laughing because now that go, even though it's the preceding verses, it picks up exactly where I was going to go on. And let's <laughs> pick it up at Matthew mm -hmm. 24 and 27. Said, for as the lightning mm -hmm. comes out of the east and shining even unto the west, so shall also to the, the west, right? The son of man be coming to the son know, of man be happen when you see the fig tree season. This is what's going to happen. That's right. And then in the 29th, right. it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. But at this point, yes, if, if you see that, you missed it. <laughs> It's too late. Yes. It's like that now. It's too late. That, that sign, that's the sign that, you know, sometime with a time change and we wonder if we missed the rapture. Well, if you see this sign, it's yes. not a question. You missed the rapture if you see that's that right. sign. Because then the third Amen. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Look at how our two scriptures tie unrehearsed coming from the yes. same, feeding off one another. And I think I just thank God. That's all right. Not thank the Lord. Justify us, but it is to validate the message. God does not want his people lost. That God is, that's he right. Doesn't. Amen. He doesn't. He, he's given us every chance he can. Every chance he's saying, right. Look, I'm I left it. I'm telling you. I'm preaching. I'm sure. What else can I do? He's given us. He's doing everything yes. to make sure we're ready. I tell you, Bishop. That's to that make sure that we're ready. Amen. Amen. That's all right. That's all right. We're gonna. I'm gonna read this uh, last scripture, and then we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna merge <clears throat> uh, from the absoluteness of of this uh, into um, 
the uh, I would say the the formation of the Ten Toe Confederacy, and and I give you a little more detail once I read this scripture right here in 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 Luke. Now, um, when we get to the Ten Toe Kingdom, now that 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 is going to happen uh, after the Rapture, but the reason why I'm talking about it before the Rapture is because I want to um, make my listening audience aware that these kingdoms, these, the, these territorial boundaries are forming right now. And that's why I got this portion, uh, uh, kind of connected to the 1948 and, and what we're reading now, what we're talking about now, because it is forming into that into that and that's why it's important to know about that but let me let me read this last scripture that i got uh, on and my bishop, end and, 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 and go ahead and bishop Jackson, just one point before you read your scripture can i tell you yes. something my yes. next scripture is luke 21 25 through 28 really <laughs> i'm gonna show it to you bishop look right okay, there yep i see it I can't make it up. We oh, have been in the I same chapter, same Pardon book, me. same chapter, three for three. Unrehearsed. Jesus. Unpracticed, Bishop. Unrehearsed. That's all right. Book, same chapter, same section of scripture, three for three. You had no way of knowing what I had, and I had I no didn't. way of knowing what you had, and we have the exact same thing written. Bishop, I'm telling you, that, I'm, I tell telling you. you I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I got to go in my closet and shut, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, this is, this, I know, this, I know, I this tell is you, this is a wake up call, Bishop, now we didn't practice this, Bishop. yes it it's is, a wake up call, it's a wake up call, amen, right, yes, sir. Yes, no sir. doubt about it, and I, I, I love the Lord for what he is doing, um, and, and, and I, I, I know, I know I felt the pull of God to do to do the podcast and also to bring bring you on and, and I and I knew it was the Holy Spirit that did not lead me to uh call you and let us rehearse it and go through step by step what we're gonna do didn't do none of that the Holy Spirit didn't even allow me to do it I didn't even, it didn't even come to my mind to do it and that is because that is because whomever whomever God has uh following this podcast that he wants to know the truth and feel the truth of Amen. God's word illuminating through this teaching. He's doing it right now in an unrehearsed forum because the spirit of God don't have to rehearse with anybody because there's only one spirit feeding throughout his one body. So if his spirit is in, in charge of what's going on, I'm going to know it through the spirit, not knowing it through the mouth of Elder, Elder Thompson. And he's not going to know it through the mouth of Bishop Jackson because the mouth of us both is being generated and regulated by the one spirit, which is the one mind of Christ. I pray, I pray that, the, that those of you that is watching us now can feel the power of God. Amen. Moving right now through this moment in our podcast to to help someone know and to understand that we are in the last days but thanks be to god that the last days as ella thompson has already identified is not something for us now to be afraid of because he has given us he has given us this right to the tree of life, through through the through the plan of salvation that we have talked about so in our earlier episodes of being being baptized, submerged in water in the name of Jesus, rising to walk in the newness of life, men filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of our God give us the utterance, and then walking in the apostles' doctrine as we live the word and store the word that will make us ready when that day come. And it won't catch us unaware because God said, watch and pray. And he has put us here today to show you what to watch for. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I tell you, I praise God. Amen. For the illuminating power that he is now bringing forth at this moment in our 
podcast in this moment in this section of our teaching how God is just using his men for just such a time as this amen i'm gonna read luke if you if you don't have anything else you want to say right now I'm no gonna read bishop I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now bishop i'm off. i mean this, this right here i can't i mean the, the just the fact to be three for three jesus book and chapter burst to verse unrehearsed i'm still trying to get my arm and i was as i was Thank listening you, jesus. to you I'm just trying, I'm, and I'm hoping Hallelujah. this listening audience can catch what's happening yes, right now. Right I, now. I think, I, Bishop, I can't, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, you, I'm at a loss for words. I just want to put Jesus. that in, and yes, I'm sir. telling you that my nose is running, my eyes is running. Bishop, I'm yes, at Lord. a loss right now. Yes, I'm Lord. Because even after you and I talked about today, these are the scriptures that I hadn't even shared with you. You had That's no right. way of knowing what I had in my book. And yes, they're in the same sequence. Yes, sir. That's all right. So you can call one a coincidence. You might call two lucky. I don't know yes. what you're gonna call three for three. Amen. That's that's, that's that's I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna call that. Amen. One for the father, one for the son, and one for the yeah, Holy, one for the Holy we're done. Ghost. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's all right. Amen. To God be the glory. Each and every one of you for joining us on countdown to the finish line we certainly pray that the word of god that is shared in these broadcasts rests upon fruitful grounds in our lives that it may produce in all of us psalm 30 psalm 60 psalm 100 fold as we endeavor to make our calling and election sure until our next broadcast, Bishop Jackson say unto you, peace be unto you.